So now we are going to write a program to find the roots of a quadratic equation. So quadratic equation you might be remembering uh, the format ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. If this is the way in which we write the quadratic equation then how you can calculate the roots it will be minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Okay. This will be the roots r1 r2 the two roots will be like this so to write the program how to solve a quadratic equation we need the coefficients of quadratic equations so first, first what we will write we need inputs from the user we need the values of a b and c and it we, what is the data type that's the second requirement it will be a float value again in both the roots this term is there so if we can calculate it and save it in some variable say discriminant disc or something like that then we can give the root value as minus b plus disc slash 2a and second root you can write it as minus b minus discriminant disc slash 2a we can give the values of roots like this so before that you have to give the value of discriminant how to calculate the value of discriminant square root of b square minus 4ac for calculating square root, you have a function called SQRT. SQRT of A means it will give the square root of A. But for this, you have to add a header file. Okay, I didn't explain in detail about header file, but we always start the code by writing hash include stdio.h. So there are some files with the extensions .h. .h stands for header files. So till now what we covered we covered some basic programs for all that we gave the first line as hash include stdio.h which means that we are including a basic header file and stdio stands for standard input output operation header file okay so for printf and scanf they are all included in the s header file named stdio.h but uh, when we go for this sqrt function it is not included in stdio so when you add a particular function the header file in which it is included that also need to be added in the code so whenever you use sqrt function you have to add the corresponding header file and that header file is called math.h so how you will add it in code hash include math.h so this is the header file so how to calculate discriminant can you say that how to use um, SQRT function discriminant say DISC is equal to SQRT of within the brackets square root of B square minus 4AC. So you can write B star B minus 4 star A star C. Okay, so this is how you have to write the code. And we know that all the variables will be float. DISC, R1, R2, all these will be of which data type? It will be of the data type float. So I think you got an idea of how the program should go. So now we will proceed with the program. So what are the input variables? First step is variable declaration. So for variable declaration, float a, b, c. They are the coefficients of the quadratic equation. Then what we need? A temporary variable that is for discriminant. So I will give the name say disc. Then answers should be stored in r1 and r2. So, the two variables for storing the roots. Okay, so now variable declaration is over. Then we have to ask the user for the input. So, printf, we are asking the user, slash n, enter the coefficients. Enter the coefficients of the quadratic equation. You can give like that. And scanf. And in format specifier, what we are giving? All the three values, we are giving it as float. So, percentage F, percentage F, percentage F. And whenever we use scanf, you use AND operator. So, it will be AND A, AND B, AND C. Okay. AND symbol represents address of the variables. So, in scanf, we cannot give the variable name directly. Instead, we give AND address of A, address of B and address of C. 
I have explained it earlier when I was teaching you scanf. Hope you remember. So here, what we did, we got the values of a, b, and c from the user. Now we have to calculate the roots. Before calculating roots, we have to calculate discriminant. For calculating discriminant, we need this function sqrt. To use sqrt, we have to include header file. So here, I add one more header file that is hash include math dot h. Okay, why I added this header file? To add which function? To use sqrt function. Okay, this is just I am adding a comment to it. So, calculating discriminant disc is equal to sqrt square root of b square minus 4ac. Okay, now discriminant is there. Then, calculation of roots r1 is equal to minus b plus discriminant by 2a. So, minus b this, um, this will come in the numerator. So, we should give brackets. So, this is another thing which you should remember. In maths also, we uh, we learn the precedence of various operators. So, it's like division multiplication like that. So, when we give numerator and denominator separately, we, we should give brackets to get the exact value. Otherwise, it will be uh, first doing the division part. So, minus b plus discriminant should be done together. 2a should be calculated together and finally, they divide this. So, for that, you have to give brackets properly to get the correct result. And second root is in the same way, minus b minus discriminant divided by, again, 2 into a should come in the denominator. So, we are putting brackets. So, for what we are using all these brackets? For the precedence of different operators. Brackets is given the top priority. So, we are giving separating numerator and denominator by properly giving the brackets. So, now roots are, have been calculated. Now, we need the result. So, printf roots are both R1 or R2 are flawed type. So, format specifies percentage F and percentage F. So, roots are dash and dash. In that way, give, we given person format specifier and this dash and dash here, you need the value of R1 and R2. So, you give R1, R2. Hope it's clear. So, we have used printf here for getting the values. Bracket is already there. I typed it earlier. Okay, so now we will save the code and we'll check if there is any error. There is no error, so we will compile and run it. Entering the coefficients 1, minus 5, 6. These are the coefficients which I already calculated to check the results. So now you get the results. So this is how we write a program for finding the roots of quadratic equation. I discussed this program so that you will get a better idea of uh, using printf scan of then header file the use of function sqrt, then precedence of various operators, etc. Let's execute this program once more. Let's compile and run. And randomly give two coefficients, say 1, 2, 3. So you get an answer like this. So what can be the possible reason? 1, 2 and 3. So here you can check. Here, discriminant value b square minus 4ac. Okay, so b square minus 4ac in this case means 1, 2, 3. It is 4 minus 4 into 3. That is, it is a negative value. So, here, when you give 1, 2 and 3 for the values a, b, c, what will happen? Discriminant is less than 0. And we already know that this uh, roots will be real only if discriminant is greater than 0. 
okay so you we can modify the program using if condition but we can't uh, do it now because after learning conditional statements we will uh, modify this program again so at this point of time when you execute just check that discriminant value should be greater than 0 then only you will get the result after learning conditional statements we can add if else also so if we can uh, give a provision like if discriminant less than 0 there is a conditional statement if discriminant less than 0 you can give a print like roots are not real else only you can do this calculation you can modify the program like that right now when you give the values of a b and c make sure that b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 then only you will be getting real root